Hey, Dorian. Uh, going up against the same opponent in the playoffs last year, what kind of benefit do you see in that and that you get to face the same team once again here? Um, the same team, but they got a couple new pieces, and so do we. So do we. And, um, it's going to be a great series. And, um, uh, we excited, and um, we're ready for uh, this weekend. Tyler Jackson, go ahead. Orion, you've been here for about half the time of this franchise looking for its next playoff series victory since the title. Uh, how important is a series victory in the growth of a franchise and particularly one with uh, kind of a young core like you all have? Just to, you know, going in and, and, and try to get a win you know, on the road, we know, you know that, that that would be a great, you know, put ourselves in a great spot, you know, with this, this series. So we're just going to try to go in there at least get get one of these games and um, you know put ourselves in the best position to win a series. All right, Kelly Kaplan, go ahead. Hey, Dorian, we've heard stories um, throughout the season about people making bets with Luca, whether it's for half court shots, video games, or whatever it is. I'm curious, have you made any bets with Luca, and how did those go? Um, no, nah, this this with the wild, crazy shots. He he can just grab the ball off the rack and just launch him, and uh, yeah. No, he he gonna definitely get some of your money if you if you lose with your money. Me, I'm I'm a little tight, so I don't like betting. And uh, now if I bet, it's gonna be something I know I'm gonna win at. So, uh, but he always make those ridiculous shots. So I try to keep I try to stay away from him with that. Thanks. Wayne Price, go ahead. Oh, man, I appreciate it, Tom. Yes, Dorian. What what did you guys learn about yourself in the last year's playoff series against the Clippers? Uh, that you can take into this weekend series. And also, uh, the Mavericks ended up the regular season 26 and 0 when they won the first quarter. What does that say about your team when you're getting off to a fast start? Um, that, you know, we just got to come out with that, you know, that edge. Whenever we come out with that edge in front of the beginning, we, we're a tough team to beat. But uh, playing the Clippers, we know we, it's going to be a physical game. Um, so we, we know they plays and they um, they gonna know our plays. We know that you know teams gonna make an adjustments and we just gotta play basketball and then go out there and be the best team on the court. All right, Tim Cato. Hey Dorian, uh, what's it like guarding Kawhi Leonard? How do you go about that? Um, just make it tough for him. Uh, he, you know, he ain't he ain't overly fast, but he's strong and um, he make a lot of those you know pull up twos that. You know, we want to give teams, but he makes so shots. So uh, you just got to make it hard for him. Is it a mindset adjustment to, to kind of like usually you're trying to push uh, op opponents into mid range jumpers, but you know, those are the spots he's trying to get to, obviously. Yeah, um, it just it's tough, man. You, you just got to make it hard for him, you know, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, it really don't matter what type of shots you're taking in the fourth quarter, let down the stretch, you know, and then they they the shots that he tend to make at the end of the game. So I, you know, just gotta, you know, be there for each other. Uh, he a great player. You know, all we can do is just make it hard for him and, and keep everybody else on the team under control as well. Right, we got a couple more. Lawrence Murray, he's with the Athletic in Los Angeles. What's up, Doria? Uh, I've seen over the years you've started in lineups with two bigs like Chris Stapps and Maxi, or maybe just one big uh, and. I know the game is a lot more fluid now uh, in terms of traditional positions, but how do you feel like your game changes, your responsibilities change depending on whether you're on the floor with uh, one traditional big compared to uh, two traditional bigs? Um, it just me knowing uh, uh, knowing different positions, using my versatility. Uh, when I'm playing as a big, I probably set in a little bit more screens, and then when I'm you know, at the guard position, I'll probably come off a little bit more ball screens, but, you know, I just got to be ready to play both. Um, got to be ready to guard both. And, um, and, you know, when I'm at the four, I'm, I tend to, you know, I got to box out a lot more than I am when I'm at the three. But, uh, you know, we're going to make the uh, make the adjustments. Um, you, know, I, you know, we got to match up the teams. Sometimes teams go small, then I play the four, and then, you know, the clip is big, so... No, however, however, coach want to do it. No, I'll be prepared. Kevin, go ahead. 
Hey, Dorian, this team is 10th in the NBA this season as far as clutch time situations are concerned, and you particularly have excelled in the clutch this year. How have you specifically grown and this team grown overall to give you guys confidence going into another series with the Clippers this year? I think last year we, we learned, well, for me, uh, I would say last year I learned a lot, uh, but just by playing in, playing in those moments down the stretch. And, um, and as a team, I feel like uh, we, we got better in that aspect. So uh, I feel like uh, last year we lost a bunch of close games, you know, that went down to the wire. And this year I feel like we, you know, we excelled a little bit better than we did last year. So hopefully we just, you know, keep getting better. All right. Good. Appreciate you, though.